Over the weekend, I saw these three vintage Ganey planters, these ceramic planters that I thought were really nice. I'd been looking online at vintage Ganey ceramics and I've always wanted to get some, but it's pretty expensive. And the guy told me it was $100 for the set of three, which is a pretty good deal. They're a little bit damaged, maybe that's why, but they looked good enough to me. I thought that was a great deal, and I said, I'll take them. He wanted me to pay using PayPal, but I downloaded PayPal. I haven't used it in a long time, and I was kind of surprised that it's sort of geared towards these peer-to-peer -peer payments like Venmo, and the design looks kind of fresh, it looks modern. But it's a little bit superficial, so this is a recording I took off my phone of the app, and it's just one little part of the app, this order ahead button in the bottom left. When you tap it, there's this transition that happens. And let's take a look in more detail at this transition, because when I saw it, I thought, huh, it looks a little bit wrong somehow, but I can't quite put my finger on it. So when you play it back in slow motion here, you can see, first of all, there's this arrow coming in in the top left, and it comes in at the wrong speed. So you can see that right when the transition starts, it just appears out of nowhere. And then it slides down. It eventually meets the header in the correct spot, but you know it's off the header during most of the transition. And then weirdly, there's another arrow that's in the correct spot, or I mean, it's, it's animating in at the correct speed, but it fades in and then fades out suddenly. So it's almost like that was supposed to be the right arrow, but they told it to go away and replaced it with this other one. Uh, so beyond that, the order ahead text doesn't animate. So you can see as I scrub back and forth right here, it doesn't animate, it just appears once the transition is over. So that looks bad. And then let's take a look at the footer. The footer slides in with the rest of the content, so it doesn't slide in the same way the header does. And it has this text that says, let's go. And that fades in. So that fades in correctly and, and moves with the footer correctly. And it's a bit weird that the footer is a button, but it looks exactly the same as the header, which is not a button. But let's just focus on the animation, not the visual design. All right, so the rest of the stuff here, all the content just kind of slides in from the right. And the previous screen slides out to the left. And it gets a bit darker as the animation goes. The overall speed of this transition feels a bit slow. I actually thought maybe this was linear easing when I first saw it, but we can kind of confirm whether it is or not by, uh, by stepping through the animation here. So you can see this first frame, it moves about 80 pixels, and the next frame is at about 140. The next frame, what's that, 120, 190. Anyways, it's clearly not linear. It's slowing down as it goes. So it's like an ease out animation, which that's fine. I just think it's overall too slow. All right, so I thought, why not recreate this UI? Just kind of crudely mock out this UI, recreate it in Flinto, and then I can make my own version of the transition and kind of address some of the problems which is exactly what I would do if I was working on this app because I would need to show the developer, here's what I want, here's where it's breaking down, here's where it doesn't look right. And uh, let me show you how you can quickly communicate that kind of stuff using Flinto. So I'm gonna play this in fast forward because I'm just going through and crudely mocking up that same UI based on some screenshots I took of it. Just drawing rectangles and circles and some text layers just so that I have something to work with. I'm not worrying too much about the visual design I just want to focus on those animations. Okay, so I've recreated the two screens. And again, these aren't super exact, but it's enough to play with the animation. So I'm going to make a link from the home screen to the order ahead screen. I'll hit the D key to draw a link here. And I'm going to target order ahead. And then I'll create a new transition. Now in the transition designer, the default transition here is kind of close to the actual transition because it's like a push left type thing. But in the actual transition, this screen doesn't slide all the way off the left edge. So let me slide this back over a bit. It looks a little more like that. And it, it fades to black as the animation goes. So I included a shade layer here. So that's just a rectangle that I drew over the entire start screen. And I'm going to fade that in 
so that at the end of the transition, it gets darker. Okay, now the next thing is the header slides down from the top. It doesn't slide in with the rest of the screen. And so to get that, uh, what I can do is select the header in the layer list and drag it outside of its screen to the top of the layer list. And that will make it be positioned relative to the screen, which is the center portion of the transition designer. Sorry, not the screen, but the device. So this border represents the device frame. And now things that are outside of a screen are being positioned relative to the device frame. So now when I play the animation, the header is kind of fixed in place there. But at the start of the transition, this header should be off the top. And then as the transition plays, it drops down. All right. So I also want to fade out this back arrow and the order head text, I'll fade that out as well. So now that drops down and the content fades in. Now, I don't know if this is the best transition. I'm kind of just creating a better version of the transition that they have in their app. So it doesn't have that weird double arrow thing and the arrow slides down at the correct speed and the text uh, fades in rather than appearing suddenly. And the other thing that they did was um, this text, let's go, was also faded out. So that fades in as we go. All right, let me exit out of the transition designer and I wanna make sure I have a way to get back. So I'm gonna draw a link over this back arrow and target uh, back link. And I also wanna draw a link down the left edge, also a back link, and this one will use a right swipe gesture. Okay, I'm gonna open up the preview And let's try out my version of the transition. So mine's quite a bit faster. I'm actually just using the default spring in Flinto. I didn't even tweak it, but I think that's a much more appropriate speed than what they had, which was uh, quite a bit too slow, I think. And I think that animation already looks much smoother and it supports the back swipe gesture. So I can swipe back, which is useful also when I'm trying to debug the animation and make sure it all looks good. But yeah, this looks uh, way more put together, I think. And you could just imagine if you were working at PayPal, a developer built your transition and it looks how it looks in the actual app. And you could make a Flinto in a few minutes and show them and say, here's exactly how I want it to work. And let's take a look at this together and I can show you exactly the, the parts that have room for improvement. So it's a great communication tool. I want to try making the bottom bar slide up as well as the header sliding down just to see what that would look like, you know, cause that's kind of the other benefit of working in Flinto is that you can experiment with something like that more easily. So rather than asking the developer to build that, you know, if you said, Hey, I want the footer to slide up, but you're not sure if that would look right, then you're wasting a lot of time, um, in development. So I slide the, or I drag the footer out of its screen to the top of the layer list, just like I did with the header. And then I'll drag it off the bottom of the screen here. And I already have the text inside of there fading in. So let me play this in slow motion. Cool, that looks good. Now there's kind of a lot of moving pieces here because the header and the footer are sliding down. You know, I might prefer a more subtle animation than that, but with what they were going for, this might, this might be kind of what they wanted. All right, back to the preview. Yeah, kind of interesting, really easy to experiment with, with something like that, which uh, means you can kind of start the conversation about whether that's what you want to do. So that's just my take on this transition that I saw in the PayPal app. If you'd like to see me kind of break down more animations that I see in actual apps like this, let me know in the comments.